Hey guys, welcome to the video. So, question I get all the time, how do you get your first web designer or web developer job? What are the steps? In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what you need to do. So number one, you gotta learn your fundamentals of coding. So I'm gonna talk about web stack, but it kind of applies to any type of programming that you might do. So if you're doing the web stack, of course, you gotta learn your HTML5, you gotta learn your CSS, you gotta build, be able to build, you got to be able to build responsive websites. You should know a little bit of JavaScript and just understand the whole process of building a website. That's if you want to be a web designer. If you want to get into web development, then you got to learn, of course, the full stack. That means you should learn some backend technology, whether it be JavaScript and Node or PHP or Python with Django or Flask, et cetera, et cetera. There's all kinds of different uh, competing options on the back end. Which one you choose depends on the job market and the availability, what you kind of like, et cetera, et cetera. So you learn your fundamentals. That's the first thing you got to do to be able to get a job as a coder developer. Next thing you should do is perhaps get some certifications, although I place not a huge amount of weight on that. I'm not talking about certificates of completion. Those are Yes, next to useless in my opinion, but real true certifications where you have to pass an exam, etc. You get a certification. Full disclosure, I do provide certification products and services, whether it be to individuals or to schools. So, but again, as I said, certifications to me are just, eh, they're marginally important. They, they can help pad your resume, so they're good to have, no question. And also a good way to test your skill set. But the real meat of developing your reputation, the real important thing is actually having real experience. So that's the catch-22. How do I get a job, Steph, if I don't have experience and the job wants me to have experience? Well, here's the trick. You do two to three free jobs, whether you go to do a job site, whether you reach out to a local business, small business, whether you uh, do work for a nonprofit organization. The key is you want to get two to three small projects. You don't want to spend months on these projects. Like something would take you a week to do, maybe two weeks to do. If you're doing web stack, maybe you do a simple PayPal implementation for them. Maybe you put up their WordPress site and configure their blog, their blog, etc. Simple things, but you want to get that experience where you're actually working with real project with real people, and then. That is your track record that you can go to an interview with and that is going to open up a lot of possibilities. Next thing you got to do is you got to get up some sort of resume website of your own, something that you, could, you, know, you can send people to. Now, after you do your web stack training and you get your certs, then maybe you should put up your website first. That will help you get the free job, the stagiaire job I just mentioned before. Or you can do it after. But point is, you want to have some sort of site online that looks good. Make sure it looks good, even if you're doing backend. Um, make it look good. If you're not good with in terms of design skills, then just get a template and don't break it. And design-wise, and just put it up. And you need a place for people to be able to go to to check you out. Check out your resume. Check out your work. Make sure it's well written. Make sure the photos are good. Make sure uh, the design aesthetics are good. It has to look good, even if you're selling coding skills. With all those things in place, then you can start applying for jobs. You can start because you got something you can show them, real world work, real projects, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And there you go. If you're not sure how to build a project, don't get caught up in uh, tutorial-itis. Don't get caught up in tutorial hell, as some people call it, where you're just doing tutorial after tutorial after tutorial. In pr prospective employers are not going to be so... Uh, impressed if you've done five tutorials from some uh, course creator. You have to actually have worked with real clients. So important. So, uh, if you want to learn how to do that, you can check out my freelance course, uh, Shameless Self-Promotion. Another thing that's out now, uh, about seven, eight months ago, something like that, I launched a beta version of a mentoring program. I've been mentoring people for years. I've been teaching people on mass for years, but somebody wanted, people have been asking me to set up mentoring. So I've set that up. We launched the uh, beta of it, if you will, months ago, figured out what people really wanted. So we have a very nice mentoring program. It's live. 
Uh, it's ready to go. It's got lots of exclusive content, private Zoom meetings. It has everything, all the course content. Everything is there. You want to check it out, link below. Shameless self-promotion, but people, uh, a lot of people have been asking for this. So now it's, it's widely available for everybody if you want to jump in. I don't know how many people I'll be able to take in. I've been able to handle the load we have now pretty easily. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. So first come, first serve. Thanks for watching the video. Any other points I want to point out? Um, yeah, there's a few other points. Uh, when you have all those other things in place in terms of getting a job, you got to do some research on the company that you're going to interview for so you know what they're looking for. Um, and if you do get rejected in your first few interviews, which is normal, uh, don't worry about it. Um, find out why. Ask them, why, why didn't you hire me? And see what they say. And there's probably some holes you can fill and plug in that regard, if it happens. Although I've had several people who've done my courses. They told me they got the job right away. So it depends. It depends on circumstances. So there you go. Also, I'll leave you with this. I'm recording this in January 2021, COVID times. So if you been looking for a job, been having, been having trouble, don't beat yourself up over it. This is like extraordinary efforts, right? This is like crazy, unprecedented uh, virus uh, situation. Haven't seen this in over 100 years in the world. So don't worry, it will clear. But uh, so if you had trouble finding jobs, don't worry. It's COVID times. It will get better. Just keep working at it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Before I let you go, let me give you a couple of book recommendations. People always ask, if you're a total noob to this whole thing, then I could recommend my book. I wrote it a little while back, but it's still evergreen. The content is evergreen. It's got all kinds of pretty pictures and diagrams. It teaches you HTML5, CSS3, highly reviewed on Amazon, link below. If you already have your fundamentals and you want to really level up your game, here's a book I recommend. This book is going to teach you how to write much better code very quickly. This is the Java version. Link is below. There's also a JavaScript version if that's more of your interest. Uh, this is one of the few books that I've kept from uh, 20 years ago because this book is evergreen. Uh, this book will really level up your skill. I had the original, I had my original copy of this book. I had it in soft cover, but I thought it was such an important book. I bought it years ago. When did I buy this edition? I bought this thing years ago for hardcover. Uh, just September two. I bought this in 2003, although I had the original version from, I think it's 2000, uh, 1999. Yeah, so anyway, highly recommend it if you are a coder who wants to level up their game. This is the way to go, big time. And once again, if you're a beginner, this is the way to go. Uh, for web design, my own book. All right, thanks for watching, bye.